All right. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining us on tonight's team call. First, start off with some announcements. Um, on March 9th, if you like Joel and you want to try out the new workout, I highly suggest that you do that. So next Monday, you can try out the workout. Um, we'll be given a link as well if you want to, and I highly suggest you do this. Um, you can send that link out so other people can try the workout and they don't have to have Beachbody on demand. Um, so it'd be great to include it in your story, start talking about it, um, get that hype going now, get people excited for it. Um, if you're going on the Success Club trip, if you earn Success Club 20 by the 15th, you will earn a photo op. So I'm pushing for it. So if you want to go big, let's do it. Um, what else do I have? Uh, Coach Summit tickets on sale, 170 still. You guys see it's like creeping up a little bit each month. Um, so make a decision. Or hit, if you're a new coach and you hit Success Club three months in a row, you'll get a free ticket. So that's always a good one. And, um, oh, the 10 rounds. Um, did I call it something else? <laughs> uh, the 10 rounds product tools are already in your coach online office. So if you're still like, what is this boxing thing all about? make sure you go and look at all the info. Um, what else? Oh, they extended the Bar Blend Challenge Pack um, sale, still 20% off. I still believe you can get Pumpkin Shakeology um, box for free with a Shakeology Challenge Pack. And if you sign up with the Monthly Fix or the Mindset Membership, there is a free gift until March 15th. And I think that is it for me for announcements. Um, but I asked Lisa to do tonight's team call because we were having some fun in Philly on Sunday. And we're all busy. We all have little ones or crazy busy work schedule. And Lisa just focuses. She gets it done. She's efficient. And I think that's why she's, yeah. She's so good at what she does, and she is, I don't know, past couple months, she's been the top success club leader for the team, um, and I think this is why, is because she makes a plan, she does it, and she doesn't waste a minute. Like, she, if she has a minute to go pee, she will send out message and pee at the same time. Am I right? <laughs> um, so, Lisa, I'm going to unmute you. Thanks, Rose. Yes, um, always, always messaging in the bathroom. Um, but I just want to start by saying that I'm not where I want to be in my business right now whatsoever. So yes, like I'm doing the things that I need to be doing, but I still need to grow so much more. So don't think that there's ever like you get to a point where you're like, all right, I'm good with this business, you know? Oh, I like earned a bunch of points last month. Like, you know, you got to keep going and I need to get to where I want to be. So um, let me just talk about that and a little, I have a little announcement first. If you guys are in the reset group, just please keep it positive in there. Um, I know a bunch of us are doing it right now. So if you're listening to this recording, just as, a, as coaches, we need to keep it positive in there because our customers and our clients are going to be posting as they wish, which is awesome. But if you are a coach in the group, just make sure that you are, um, commenting on the people that are having some trouble and just reassuring them that this is an incredible opportunity that they're working on and that they, um, that the success is going to be worth it all. So I actually have someone who wanted to return their package today before they even got it in the mail because um, of the negative stuff that they've been seeing in there. So just please keep an open mind. And if you are a part of the reset group, uh, the team wide reset group, please keep it positive in there. Thank you. And now let's get started. Um, so pretty much like Rose said, you know, I have three little kids, um, a husband that counts as another child pretty much. And um, it's, you know, it's rough, but like, I hate, excuses like like so much they drive me crazy and it's not to say that some things like you're that you're purposely trying to give an excuse because I, I totally get it i mean like i just drove myself crazy for an hour trying to get the kids to sleep so that um i could be on this call and doing this because i'm home alone so i i totally get it but 
you need to make your business a priority, right? So for me, I was able to quit my part-time job and do this from home without having to pay a babysitter, without having to figure out who's going to watch the kids when to go work for $10 an hour at Panera or something like, no, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make a lot more money. I'm going to help a lot more people. And I don't have to figure any of that out. Like I'm working on my own time, but you need to work. You, you got to do the things or you're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to make any money and you're not going to be helping people, which is really the main reason that every single coach says why they did this business. When, the, when your upline initially asks you, why do you want to do this to help people? So that every single coach always says they want to help people. So you can, but you need to be doing all the things. Um, and don't get me wrong. There's people that do do all the things and they still have a little bit of trouble. So we're going to talk about that. Um, so I'm a teacher, if you don't know me, and I get up at like 4.45 every morning, usually like five, cause I'll hit snooze. So five o'clock, the first thing that I do, walk right into my kitchen. I sleep in my workout clothes so I don't have to worry about getting dressed in the morning or being so warm and not wanting to change. That always happens. Um, first thing I do is get up right into the kitchen and my energizer is already set up. So I'll film that so that I get um, product use on my story right away in the morning. Um, and I know a lot of us share our energize in the mornings, but don't forget to share your Shakeology too. It's, um, if not more important, and it's really easy because we all love our mom crack, mama juice, um, whatever you call it, but share your Shakeology too. And I, I don't do it enough, but I try to at least get one um, really good loaded post with Shakeology once a week. Um, so there's my boom. There's your product use right in the beginning. And then go downstairs, do my workout, right? Then when I'm finishing my workout, put it on your story like most of us always do. So now see who's viewing your story. Like here's another idea because you always check who's viewing. It's mostly the same people. So if you're doing this for a while, um, you're like, oh, it's all the same people that watch. You've already reached out to them. So try a different perspective. And when you see somebody that saw it, be like, oh, did you see my thing this morning? Like, have you ever done a program like that before? Or... Um, is that like a kind of exercise that you would be into? Um, I know that you saw my story, um, or do you have any song suggestions for my next video? Um, I ask that one a lot. Just different things to connect with people by not saying like, hey, I have a group coming up, do you wanna join it? So this is all going on in the morning, right? So now I, I come up from upstairs and I'll try to reach out to like one or two people there before I come upstairs. Jump in the shower, you know, get ready for work get all the kids up, out and ready, try to take a cute picture of them in the morning because sometimes they look so freaking cute, uh, but that's like another 10 minutes. So, <laughs> um, And then head to work. Now I'll sit in my car and usually I'm scrolling like an idiot like and not doing anything productive, but I'll make myself make my post in the morning like five days out of, out of the week uh, before 8 a.m. So before I'm going down to pick up my kids, um, my students, I'm making sure that my post is up and ready to go. And it's not just a post with like no substance. And it's not a post that says like, um, my March group is coming, like you should join it, even though sometimes we do do that. But you need to have, put out a post that's gonna make people respond to it. So I'm putting out a post for the people that I want to join my team. So they don't know that, but I'm looking for people that are like me that I would like to have on my team. So I'm looking for my tribe of people. Uh, so a certain thing, Tracy just made a post that said, what kind of car seat do you use? Like, that's like a huge conversation starter. Um, uh, even if you're not looking for a car seat, you know what I mean? Like you she might already have one, but she wants to get the conversations going. So like something that yesterday was our anniversary. So instead of posting like, oh, just a picture of us saying happy anniversary, babe, which I probably would have done if you didn't piss me off on Sunday. Um, I said, you know, I make this, uh, you know, we do the traditional wedding gift every year. So I said, have any of you ever done that? And now I'm like back and forth in like this huge message with this one girl who's like a total, like I was so happy because she's totally awesome. Like would be so cool to be on my team. So I'm just going to keep it going with her. Right. It is all about forming these relationships. So, okay. Now then I have to be at work. Can't be on my phone. Um, even though I will sneak it in here and there. 
And same thing with work though. I'll go to the bathroom at work and put my phone in my pocket and I'll check my messages real quick because I used to let my messages go until like the next day or like so I'll answer them tonight. Sometimes I feel like I will miss out on those people because if they're ready to go, like and ready to say, let's do this. And I miss that window of opportunity. By the time dinner time comes around, they're not thinking about it anymore. So I'll try not to let more than a few hours go in between messages. Um, so now it's lunchtime, right? And now I have my phone with me. I just started this new routine when I was doing the reset a few weeks ago. And instead of like, usually I'll go on my lunch, I'll eat something real quick and then I'll go sit at my computer for my prep time. But instead of doing my prep time, I'm on like sh online shopping and checking emails and like doing like work that is, would take me like five minutes, but it's taking me like an hour and a half. So I started walking instead around my building during my prep period, um, at least half of it. And I take my phone with me and all I do is message and get my posts ready to go. So that's during my lunchtime. And messaging, meaning reaching out to people and connecting with people, that has nothing to do with Beachbody. Um, and then obviously I'm planning my posts that I want for the day and checking on my challengers, but I'm doing this all while walking um, in my building around. So that just helps me a lot because I'm not sitting and I'm not like working on the computer or looking at my phone and I don't scroll when I do that because I feel like I'm on a mission to do that. Um, I don't, so you guys can totally try that out. I, it's been working really well for me. And it also like, I'm obsessed with the activity tracker on my Apple watch. So I'm like, I gotta at least get a mile in right now. So that's, that's my new thing. Um, and then whatever posts you put out from the morning, those are the people, whoever liked whoever, whatever, that you're reaching out to while I'm on that walk or while you're on your lunch break or whatever it is. So um, if the post in the morning said like, ooh, I just tried um, something for dinner last night. Like have you, the other day I did a post about beets. I don't know, there was like freaking like over a hundred comments from people about beets. So then I'm asking for recipes. Now I have all these messages going. One sounded really good and I'm like, where the hell did that recipe go? I don't know, it's like buried in my messages somewhere. That's why tracking is really important, which I have not been doing recently. Um, but like a beats, a hundred comments and then all these people that I have to reach out to and send conversations to. Now tonight I had, um, whatchamacallit, um, roasted beets. So now I can reach back out to those people. Oh, I had roasted beets tonight. Like they were freaking awesome. Thank you so much. It's actually part of my um, detox plan that I just did, you know, but just get it in their heads. Like I'm not inviting them to it. I'm not asking them to come. And yes, you need to be doing those things. But once you build these relationships with people, it's going to be so much easier and it's going to be so much more natural. So um, just really focusing on building the relationships. Another thing is if you are not giving yourself time to do the work and get the results, how do you expect to bring other people on that you want them to get results and do all the things? Um, how do you want, you know, you want to be somebody's coach, you want to help them out. But if you're not doing the work, it's going to be harder to get your customers and your clients to do the work. So um, you try to get results yourself because instead of looking at it as like, I want to get like, you know, I got success club six, like you need to focus on the fact that you're helping people. Um, and I know that we say this all the time, but really don't just get points. Don't just get sign people up, get them results, help them get results. That's what your people are coming to you for so that you can help them. Um, so you need to be getting the results also. And yeah, that's the thing. It's not about getting people. This is my notes on my napkin that I wrote in my car before during my pocket of time when I came home from the chiropractor and I didn't see any kids look out the window to see if I was home. So I was like, Ooh, I don't think they heard me yet. So then I wrote a couple notes on the napkin and got a few minutes of work in before I walked in the door. Um, something else that we recently talked about, I know that this is like a lot of information here, but was adding value to people's lives. So for me, like I said in the beginning of this call, like my business is not where I want it to be right now. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm happy with it, but it's just not what my goals are. So 
I'm trying to think of things, different things that I can do that will work for my business instead of doing the same thing I've been doing for the past five years that obviously is working for me to, um, you know, help some people out and get them on board, but it's not working for me to get where I want to be. So I need to change some things up in my business. Um, and adding value is something that I kind of like stepped back from and I realize I need to be doing more. So if you guys can put in the chat box, what are some ways, and automatically my brain went to a free group, right? The add value go to a free group. If anybody else has any ideas um, of how you can add value to um, your challengers or your coaches or your, um, your followers on Instagram or Facebook, what kind of ideas do you have for ways that we can add value? Recognition. All right. So Mel, just hop on here real quick. And like, how, like, what would you say? How would you recognize someone? Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. I have headphones in, so I didn't know if those worked or not. Um, recognition. Like for me, when I do something, I like, like to be shout, like a shout out in the group or on social media or something like that. So like, if you have a challenger who's like really showing up, um, shouting them out in the group, tagging them, or even tagging them or in their results, you know, if they let you in your stories, that type of thing really goes a long way too. Yeah. And I, I love that. I don't like shout out my challengers enough, but I think I feel like when I, when I was a baby and just started, um, started like one of the 21 day fix groups with Rose, like if she would have been like, Oh, look at her. It would have like, I would have been like, yeah, yeah, that's awesome. You know? So maybe, um, our coaches will like that too. That's a really good idea. Recipes are like huge. So that's a big way that carries said recipes and monthly newsletters, um, a big way to get conversations going. And then if you're sending people recipes and asking them, if you want the recipe, just respond here. Um, and I try to do for that too, just like send me a message rather than like click on the poll because I feel like they don't, um, for me personally, they don't, they're not as responsive from when you're messaging them after a poll, but if they do the initial reach out, they're more likely to have a conversation with you. Um, and then if you're sending them a recipe that they requested and you're giving them that recipe for free, they don't have to be in one of your groups. It makes it easier the next time that you talk to them and you do invite them to be a part of your group because you've already given them something um, and you've already connected with them. Let's see. Um, See, monthly newsletters are really cool. It's, it's on my list. So since I need to be trying new things, I actually wrote down before, what new things should I try? And now I'm going to write monthly newsletters. Thank you. Is it hard to do? Like, do you, is it hard to send them out? What you buy at the grocery store. That's a good idea too. Uh, food options. Instead of sharing your workout, take time to share why you do the moves and what, what they were. Yep. Incentives and coach gifts. Yeah, see, perfect. Like, so a lot of ways that we can be adding value. Um, like Rose, check Rose posts because she always posts um, about, I think we wrote it in here before, about just nutrition and everything like that, which was a big thing for me when I started. Five, almost five years ago, I, I didn't know as much and she would be posting things and that's how I started to learn. Um, and then, what else on here? I mean, that's really, it. it's really just about forming these relationships with people, guys. I can't say enough how much that helps. Um, it's not that I'm inviting 500 people a day. I'm, I really have not invited anybody for a while maybe, um, but I'm just having these natural conversations with people and, you know, they're seeing my results and they're, you know, I'll say, Hey, you said that, um, you were interested in the cleanse or whatever, you know, what makes you interested and boom, 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 go from there. So keep going with the natural conversation and let your conversations flow. Like, don't make it seem like you really need to just take a breather before you respond. I feel like Sometimes it could just be a switch in a few words that you're saying to people, but just be totally real and yourself. And instead of trying to make it so formal and make your conversations that you're having with people be so, um, you know, uptight or you're nervous or something like that, just be yourself and have 
talk to them in a message as you would like you're actually talking to them. Like I will, I type the same exact way that I talk in real life. So I feel like if you were to read a message from me that it would sound the way that I speak. So just think about that when you're dealing with your, um, your clients or people that you want on board with you too. But the same thing with posting. Um, yes, it's crucial that we need to post about our upcoming groups and about the benefits of our superfood shakes and about um, our community of coaches. But everybody knows that once you put up a post about coaching, that it's kind of just like, uh, and it sits there unless we're all commenting on it. People need to see that. Don't not do that. They need to be seeing that, but they're going to get the real you from another conversation. So once you have all these people that you're sending these conversations to um, and talking with about real life things that have nothing to do with Beachbody, and then they see those posts. And then it's like, oh, like, then they already know you. They already like you. They already trust you. And so all these people I've been talking to, they're all going to be joining my team soon. <laughs> so um, you don't have to have all the time in the world to do this. You don't have to have, um, you know, you don't have to be, have no kids to be able to do this. There's people on our mom, on our team's moms with twins, um, all a bunch of little kids, older kids. There's grandmas on our team that are freaking blowing the roof off of our freaking beach body network here um like bev who just almost got into the the um final spot of our beach body challenge like so crazy and you guys seriously like blow my mind so just keep doing what you're doing if you're not doing enough don't keep what you're doing do more <laughs> and um seriously though if you guys have any questions reach out the one thing that i always do is um stay consistent so even with um, having all my kids and whatever, like I remember being in the hospital the day that I had my son, Luke, who's my second child. And um, I'm sending out, I'm like sending out recipes for my bed. And I was like, oh, I can't do the workouts and I'm not going to be like inviting people, but I could stay consistent in my posting. So I'll always be um, consistent with posting because there's really like, why wouldn't I be right? And then the people that are seeing my stuff know that I'm always going to show up. So if they join me, I'm always going to show up for them. And I'm always going to show up for myself because, um, as you should know from personal development, which is like huge, make sure that you are doing personal development because it totally will change your life. Um, you need to be putting yourself first before your kids, before your, if you're, if you're reading the book that uh, we have the book club for right now, um, fear is my homeboy. I think it's called, right? Fear is my homie, something like that. Um, it says like nobody in life anymore puts themselves first, but I feel like every coach on this team should be like, well, I do because you should be make sure that you're putting yourself first, give yourself that priority, make your healthy food, get your exercise in. And then you're going to be that much better for um, your family and everybody else that you need to show up for. I love what uh, Tracy said. Uh, if Lisa can do it, I can. <laughs> That should be everyone's mantra. At least I can. <laughs> and you guys are like, there's everybody, you, so many people on our team, like kill it. And, but I love it. Like that's, that's why we are so awesome. And that's why our kids are so awesome because we're really doing the best thing, not just for us, but for our families. Absolutely. Um, so my question for you is where do you feel like are people, are you having these conversations with people just about life? Are they then coming to you when they see your before and afters or are they commenting under your before and afters and then you're reaching back out? So it's, it's not just like a one and done kind of thing. Um, some girl just messaged me before, right before this about the recipe that I posted last night. I put in my story um, how I made it and everything and then asked if they wanted the recipe. And she just reached out to me and said, that looks amazing. And I had a conversation with her. So it's mostly through the story that they're um, getting more of me. Um, and said that she just had, this was a month ago. She just had a hysterectomy, this and that. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. P.S. Your door looks awesome. She had her front door redone. I don't know. I just looked on her page to see what I could say back to her and give her some feedback. So it sounds like I know what is going on in her life when obviously we can't be doing that to every single one of our followers. Um, she said, I'll be up and moving in no time. Thanks so much. We really love it. And now she just responded, looks yummy. So now I'll send it back. Hey, do you want that recipe? And eventually this girl will be ready to join me. Like, that's it. I mean, 
So they're connecting more through my story. And then if I get them, you know, on my, um, to comment on something again, I'll just keep it going until I have a couple things going in the conversation thread. And then I don't feel guilty or nervous or anything like that when I'm inviting them to join me in my next group. So do you just kind of like go by how you feel if you're going to invite this person per se, like you've had a con ton of conversations with them, you talk to them about this recipe, that recipe, and you're going to start a new ultimate reset group. You kind of go, all right, let me look through my inbox, see who I connected to, and you'll send invites to them. Right. So if I see the girl that say somebody I sent a recipe to, and then um, I'll, you know, or I've talk back and forth with and I'll be like, hey, did you ever get to try that recipe? My new group is starting and we're, there's like hundreds of recipes that are included in that. And do you think you would wanna join it? Like, does it sound like something for you? Like something like that. But anyway, um, any way to make it seem natural and flowy, not just like, oh, my, my group is starting. Do you, do you wanna join it? You know what I mean, guys? Like it's just try to be super cool and super calm when you're talking to people, cause they'll, they'll respond better to that than they will like um, a copy and pasted message. So good. Anybody have any questions they want to ask Lisa? Do you comment on something of theirs first or are they just reaching out via your stories? Uh, it's kind of like a little bit of both. I do though, when I am scrolling through my phone when I sit in my car in the mornings at work, it's not just like mindless because that's what I'll, even tonight when I go to bed, I'll lay in bed and then on my phone, I'll scroll through Facebook and comment on people's things of people that I don't know and um, kind of just get it going. So they see my name out there and see my name commenting on their likes, like don't even matter. I, you never check to see like who liked the post or something like that. Um, but if you comment on somebody's thread, they'll at least see your name and then maybe say, Oh, who is that girl? You know, click on you. So commenting on people's things is um, effective also. What do you do, Lisa? Do you go through the alphabet on your friends list? Because I'm sure your entire news feed is coaches. Um, no, it's really not. No? I'm telling I'm you, like, all coaches. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, that would be a, what I want to start doing, which I think would be a really good idea. So now you see on Facebook, when you look at your friends list, how it starts with the newest friend that you have, and then goes like down from there when you see, like if you're looking at your own page. So those are the people that you should be connecting with the most. So if you're like pressed for time, go to your own Facebook page. Um, it's going to my business page. Go to your own Facebook page, and then those people that come up first, are all the new people. Um, so then I would just check on their page what I could comment on <laughs> and go back to them the next day. It used to be, uh, years ago, we used to always do like, have plant the seeds, right? So we would plant the seeds in like five people a week and then I would have their names written down. So if you haven't done that, this is a great idea, guys. Um, take five people, the first five people that you see in your friends list there and write their names down. And then throughout that week, if they look like somebody that you would want to jump on board with you, um, for that week, take those five people and go to their page. Sometimes people don't post anything, like I'll do that. And then I'm like, oh, they have nothing here since like January 24th. Like, obviously it's not, not a person that's gonna be posting every day to, um, to be a coach. So for me, I'd rather see who is and start up a conversation that way. So. That's a really great idea to start talking to people. If you don't know who to start talking with, take the five people, check their page every day. It seriously only takes like three minutes. Um, check their page. What can you comment on or send them a message about um, or even make your own post based off of something that you saw on their post. If you think that they're like really that special and you want them to see it. Um, Insta followers organically over time. Oh, I feel like it's hard. <laughs> Instagram followers, I feel like it's hard. I'll always do um, find somebody's page that I really like that, again, is non beach body. Um, so, and then go to their followers and always add them. But it is hard. Oh, yeah. What's been working for me lately is I'll go to um, local like places, like um, 
I found a new like hair, hair place. So I go to their Instagram and I'll just go through their followers, see who looks like me. I'll add all them. They're from my town. And I feel like people that are more local, I don't know. I just have a better um, connection with. That's so I think cool. like, what are places locally that you go to and go to their in Instagram? Um, so at that hair place, and I do this too, I get business cards from other local um, businesses that, you know, they have at the desk um, and there's like an eyelash, whatever, um, that I'm going to get for the success club trip. So I have nice lashes. So I went to her Instagram, went to her followers and guys like things like that. Like if people are getting their eyelashes done, you better believe they're going to want like to look good and feel good and want to get ready for summer. So like think that way too of like what places locally um, or what people that like a certain thing like eyelashes or makeup or getting their hair done would also benefit from workouts and each other. So here's, here's a question about that then. When you're adding the people, um, do you just follow, 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 or are you opening it and looking at it? Nope. That is just a clean, just follow. If I, I millisecond look at their picture, if you're weird, you're not getting a follow. If you look <laughs> cool, you're getting a follow. Then I'll go um, into my Instagram followers and you can sort it by the people that you followed the earliest or latest. And then I sift through people. I've been doing that in the morning is like, I'll sift through. Um, if they're not following me back, I'll go, I'll look, I'll comment on something and unfollow them. Because if they're not following me at that point, then it's like kind of useless. So that's where I unfollow people if they're not following me after like a week or two but I mean I'm so backed up with unfollowing people it's not even funny um but yeah so I just follow people then I'll go back look and start the comments or especially with their stories that's I think where I'm making a lot of the connections now because I feel like most people aren't really like I'll go and their last picture was freaking Christmas March um, but they'll be posting on their story so I'll make a comment and get the conversation started that way hopefully that helps and seriously this is your challenge for the week this week guys um the next time that you tell yourself like oh I'm, I can't I'm do this I have to do this like oh I'm too busy for this like check yourself and flip it around and figure out a way that you could do it and then see if you really, can do it. I can do it. See if you really can do it. Like I, I know that you guys can, I know that you can see Andrea's on the call. She's like, Oh, I don't know. Peter might be, have to be up late. have to go to sleep. I'm like, I don't care. You either bring him on the call or you let him play and you put him down later. Like there are no excuses here, guys. We can freaking do this. Love it. Love it. Love it. Anybody else? All right. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Bye, guys. Thanks. Oh, wait. Can we take a picture? Don't hang up yet. Oh, yeah. Let's do pictures. Okay. If you guys are still there, put your thing on. Thank you, Erica. <laughs> Let's do a boomerang. What should we do? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're so fun. <laughs> I think I spent all my fun on Sunday. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We'll we'll do the uh the the pump. <laughs> the all right. Cute. Yeah. We're all like. <laughs> <laughs> we oh man. Awesome. Thanks for coming on, guys. Thanks, everyone. See ya. Bye.